My name is Lisa Ross, though you may know me better as Paper Daisy Creations, and I am the knitting pattern designer behind the Dress It Up shawl, which you see here, part of my Live It Up shawl collection on both Ravelry or on PaperDaisyCreations.com. I'm going to show you today how to work a double increase called KYOK or Knit Yarn Over Knit. Um, it is a simple increase to, uh, once you get the hang of it, it just takes a little bit of practice to learn. Um, in this design, it is used every other right side row to create the edge of this shawl. So I'm going to take my swatch here and show you how it's done. So I have my swatch and on the edge of the shawl, you are working two knit stitches and then you're working the increase, the double increase. So I'm going to work two edge stitches and now I'm ready for my KYOK. To do this, I want to knit, yarn over and knit all using the same stitch. So I begin by knit, do not take the stitch off of the left needle, yarn over, and then I knit into that stitch once again. And only then do I remove the stitch from the needle. And you can see here, one stitch becomes three stitches, creating the double increase. Now, in the pattern, you only do this increase on the edges of the shawl, but because I've got this swatch for practicing, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that once more. Into this stitch, I'm going to knit, yarn over, and then knit one more time. And that creates my KYOK. So let me show you that one additional time. This time I'm going to do it in my, hold the yarn in my uh, right hand. Um, for any of those who, uh, English style knitters. Now this is not my um, strength, so bear with me, but I'm going to go into that stitch and I knit, I yarn over, go into the stitch and knit one more time. And now I've got my K-Y-O-K, three stitches, where there once were was only one. And that is the KYOK that is used in the Dress It Up shawl pattern, part of the Live It Up shawl collection, available both individually or as a collection. You can find them on Ravelry and on paperdaisycreations.com.